Did you know? That aside from elves, there are secret workers inside Santa's toy workshop. Yes, and even Santa himself had no knowledge of them. Life was good in the little cruel space behind the knothole in Santa's workshop. Father Mouse had moved his family there after Mrs. Claus discovered evidence of their presence in her kitchen. Food was easy to find. There was always a scrap from a sandwich or a cookie that a busy elf had forgotten to return to the tray that Mrs. Claus sent to the workers from her kitchen. He and Mother Mouse had established an easy routine. Each evening when all the elves had left the workshop, Father Mouse selected dinner for his family from the wealth of scraps. He and his family feasted until they were full. Then he and Mother Mouse took careful watch as their for little mice scampered among the toys in Santa's workshop until dawn. Father Mouse really enjoyed watching his son, Aaron, explore the motor toys in the workshop. When Aaron discovered the electric train, he asked his father for help. Father Mouse taught him to guide the train around the track just as he had taught him to steer the little cars. Why don't the elves paint inside the train? Asked Aaron one evening as he and his father guided the train to a stop at the station. Even the beautiful little sports cars aren't very nice inside. Father Mouse replied. I guess they never noticed it needed to be done. He and his son then scampered on to race the little cars around the track. Mother Mouse watched Annie and Annette pretend to pour tea from a tiny teapot. She wondered about the lovely little dollhouse. She wondered why no one had painted lovely pictures to hang on the walls, as she had done in their cosy little home. When the girl scampered off to admire the dolls on the toy bench, she followed. The girls thought they were quite lovely. But Mother Mouse saw that they were missing eyelashes and other tiny features to make them seem real. The next evening, after dinner, Mother and Father Mouse sat watching their children as they played, and Father Mouse shared what he had been thinking. You know, Annabelle, our life is good here in Santa's workshop. Food is easy to find. I have plenty of time with the children. I feel a great need to do something to thank Santa for providing so much for my family. Arthur, I've been thinking the same thing. I've noticed so many little things that could be done around here. I'd love to try and help out, replied Mother Mouse. The children are safe to play together each evening. We could give Santa a hand with many things. Mother Mouse explained. I'm dying to try my hand at decorating one of those lovely houses, or painting a face on one of the dolls. I think Aaron would love to help paint the inside of a race car, or even help out with a train. Father Mouse replied. He and Mother Mouse decided to begin the next evening. It was not long until the efforts of the little mice were noticed. When Santa checked on the trains and race car sets, he remarked, You guys are terrific! We are right on schedule, and you've gone to great lengths to add even the smallest of details to make these just perfect! Ho, ho, ho! When Santa checked the dolls and dollhouses, he had more words of praise. Bonnie! This little doll looks almost real. You did a fine job on her tiny features. And I like the little pictures you painted in the dollhouse. It looks like a real home. Bonnie thanked Santa. She studied the doll's face and tried to remember what she had done differently. The elves in the workshop were pleased to earn Santa's praise. But no one knew just how they had improved their work. Santa's praise caused the elves to work harder and harder. Each night, more unfinished dolls, dollhouses, cars, and trains were left on the workbench. When they returned the next day, they discovered the handiwork of the little mice. But no one could explain how it happened. Sally couldn't let the miracles go unexplained. Each day, she sat and watched the elves as they worked. Her eyes examined every step they followed as they created the toys and dolls. She roamed the workshop as they worked. Quite by accident, she discovered the tiny knothole that led the way to the mouse family home. Sally thought it needed further investigation. That night, after all the elves had been tucked in bed, Sally returned to Santa's workshop. 
she tiptoed into the darkened room and hid behind a pile of stuffed toys. It wasn't long before her suspicions were confirmed. Out of the mouse hole came father, mother, Aaron, Annie, Amy, and little Annette. Father and son began painting tiny racing stripes on the little cars. Mother and the girls picked out paint to brush on lovely designs in the little rooms of the dollhouses. Sally watched in wonder. She decided to make her presence known to the little mice. Excuse me. She whispered, and the little mice froze in place. They turned to flee as Sally explained. Don't be afraid, I'm a friend. I just want to see who we all owed thanks to, for such great work. Father Mouse stood in front of his family. We thought we could help out. He explained. We felt we owed Santa for providing us with such a good life here in his workshop. Now that we've been discovered, I'll move my family on. No one wants mice around these days. No, wait. No one needs to know. Replied Sally. She turned to leave the workshop. They call it Santa's secret village, and your secret is safe with me. Said Sally. As she tiptoed out the door. The end. Thanks for joining us today in Santa's Magical Workshop, where Christmas dreams come to life. We hope you enjoyed this enchanting tale of holiday wonder. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell to stay updated on more heartwarming Christmas stories and festive content. Spread the joy of the season by sharing this video with your friends and family. And remember, the spirit of giving is what makes Christmas truly special. So be kind. Be merry. And let's make this holiday season the best one yet. You may also want to watch. Can Santa really deliver gifts to every child in one night? And Christmas in North Korea. From all of us here at Santa's Workshop, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May your days be filled with love, laughter, and the magic of the holiday season. See you next time.